Hey folks, welcome to another year of 3B Outdoors. Man, if we got some awesome shows lined up for you this season. We got a lot of bucks, a lot of bass, and a lot of beards. On this first week's show, we're going to Southwest Virginia with my good buddy Randy McDavid as he tries to outwit one of those spring gobblers with the old Woodhaven call. Next, we're going back to Virginia with Clayton McDavid as he muzzle load hunts one of those rutting bucks in Virginia. Last but not least, we're going to Ohio with good buddy and friend Dustin Coates. Opening week, we're going to see if he can put his tag on one of those big old Buckeye bruisers. Thanks so much for watching. Man, if we got an exciting season for you. I'm Freddie Neely, and welcome to 3B Outdoors. <laughs> This night here might have a little more pull. What a beast of a smallmouth. Gotta throw a tight line. Yes. Yes, sir. We're here in Ohio. Yes, sir. It all happened so fast. Boy, the big dog just put the smoke on a big old hole. <laughs> Three B Outdoors is brought to you by Visit Kingsport, Tennessee. Hey, folks! On this week's show, we're going to be hunting in Southwest Virginia, hunting the spring gobblers. I was kind of about to panic this morning because I didn't have anybody to video for me, and then I remembered I have a blind set up in this one field where I can put my camera right beside of me, and and have my shotgun ready, and see if I can get one of those rascals to uh, gobble at me and hopefully produce a good show for you guys. As I pulled a Woodhaven call out and uh, I made a call on it and heard a gobbler gobbling across the field up in the woods to my left. And uh, so immediately I called back to him, got him to gobbling real good. I'm thinking in a little while he's coming on, I can hear him fly down and he's coming around the side of the ridge. And all of a sudden I see these three jake birds come up from the right. And they come into my Avion X decoys and, and they're like walking around checking them out. I've got one trying to to breed the hen I've got laying on the ground. I've got the other two trying to fight my uh, Jake bird. So I'm wondering where's the gobbler at? Finally, I look over the field across from me and it, instead of seeing a bunch of ducks in a row, I've got turkeys in a row coming out of the woods, coming down through our guys. You just need to check this out and see what you think. This is one of the most exciting times I've ever had turkey hunting. about beefing me, but uh, definitely my shotgun going off. 
Can't believe the turkeys that just came in here, guys. I was using the, on my Woodhaven calls, I was using a mouth call at Red Wasp. And my, one of my favorites, aluminum call. I would hate them calls up, but golly, these are great calls. As you can see, they come off that hill. Got three jakes come in here, and they started fighting my decoy down here. My, my jake that I had out, my Avion X. Let's go out here and check this thing out. That's pretty awesome, guys. Don't get a whole lot better than that. But as you can see, I had an awesome morning and I was uh, videoing for myself. So right there at the very last, uh, every, you know, everything was happening so fast. I actually didn't, you didn't get to see his head fly off a screen, but you, hit, I mean, had part of the turkey in it and it didn't take long to catch back up. Anyway, you know what? I got here and do the very best I can at this and uh, I'm by no means perfect, but Boy, our bunch at 3B Outdoors, we have a great time doing this. And, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this show half as much as I did uh, getting to do it all, shoot, video. Uh, anyway, you guys have a great day, and thanks for watching 3B Outdoors. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Here in Northeast Tennessee, the mountains have a story to tell. An exciting account of outdoor adventure, full of fishermen's tales from our finest rivers and lakes. A genuine page turner, brimming with places to retreat, play, relax, sure to leave you wanting more. Come and write your own chapter in this mountain tale. Whether it's shooting for fun, shooting for victory, or the one chance at the trophy of a lifetime. Trust Spothawk, the world's toughest archery products. Luminox are brighter, more durable, and with replaceable batteries, the longest lasting compound and crossbow lighted knocks on the market, period. When your moment of truth comes, rely on the only lighted knock trusted by the best. Luminox. Light them up at Luminox.com. Check us out on the internet at 3boutdoors.com, plus YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Guys, it's most lower season here in Southwest Virginia. We've uh, gotten a blind this morning trying to do some self-filming. Uh, seen several does, they was running around this morning and uh, got caught and one went to blowing and snorting. That's two does that went there. We need something big on his head. patient. He's been there for well over an hour.
and I didn't think he was a chance of a buck coming in, but I bet it wasn't him minutes after that. I looked up and here comes a set of horns around through there, and he, he was about to get away from me. I, he done got back into the woods uh, before I could get the camera rolling. I had to make a hasty shot. Uh, it looked good uh, through the scope. That's a nice buck, pretty nice buck for this area. I don't think he went very far. We'll get out of here and look in a few minutes, see if we can find him. Pretty good near for here. I'm trying to self-film this thing. I hope I got it. I tell you, that buck right there, he can ride back to Kingsport, Tennessee with me any time. So if I can get this done today, maybe I can head back, uh, get the archery equipment and head back to Ohio. So. Uh, Stay with us, let's see what happened. I'm gonna try to make a recovery on that bug. I found where this buck went into the woods up here and I found a little bit of blood, not much. Just, just enough to tell me he went this way. I'd say he went up this trail right here because the last drop of blood I found went right through there. See ya. Oh, look at this right here. Well, that, was, that wasn't no long track job for sure, was it? Let's go out here and I'll have to set the camera up on my tripod and let's see what we got. Looks like a big deer. Well guys, we made a recovery. We got a, a good Southwest Virginia solid eight pointer, uh, muzzle loader season. Didn't have a far track job at all. It got a little, little tough there for a while, but uh, finally at Thompson done its job. And he's a brute for being in here. He, he's just a brute. We're gonna get him tagged up, get him out of here and Man, it's been a good morning. I seen several does. Had an old big doe coming in, uh, stomping and snorting and blowing. And I thought, there ain't no way a deer's gonna come through here now. I might as well leave. It's about 10 o'clock. And just, I bet it wasn't 10 minutes to hear this and come around the hill. When they're looking for does, you just never know when you're gonna see one. We've enjoyed this morning. It's just a beautiful morning to be out here. Let's get him tagged up, get him out of here. Get him hung up, get them tenderloins out. Give him a ride back to Kingsport, Tennessee. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. In Northeast Tennessee, sizzle of local flavor. Live the heart of its people. Live the adventure at every turn. While you retreat, play, relax. When you visit Kingsport, you live Kingsport.
This is high-speed footage of the ripcord code red and a competitor's fall-away arrow rest. Both fall as designed, but watch what happens to each launcher arm after fall-away. Ripcord's drop-dead brake stops any launcher bounce back, while the competitor's launcher arm bounces back up into the arrow. This will affect arrow flight and broadhead accuracy. Eliminate launcher bounce back with Ripcord Code Red, the number one fall away rest. 3B Outdoors is stoked to announce a new partnership with Dwayne Wilson, owner of Dixie Custom Rods and Tackle. He builds truly custom rods at an affordable price for any style and action up to the 9 foot 9 inch ledge rocket. For an amazing combination, add one of his new reels to a custom rod. Dwayne's tungsten jigs and weights, the Mega Flash and Dixie Triple Threat umbrella style rigs are proven fish catching machines. Dwayne might even build you one just like the one I use, a 7 foot 4 inch medium action tight lining rod that is totally out of this world. It's uh, opening evening, Ohio, bow season, and uh, we're going to go out here to a food plot. We've been getting some real good pictures of some nice bucks coming in, and hopefully this thing, if it goes as planned, they've been coming in every evening around 7, 720, somewhere in that range, so hopefully they'll come in and have enough daylight to you know, get this deal done, but uh, I don't know. Well, hopefully, put the new uh, Matthews Hale on to work, and I mean, just cross the fingers and hope we have some luck. So, and it's golly, what is it, Pierce? About 85, 90, something like that. And we got a pretty good walk, so we're going to get in here fairly early take our time and go hang out in the sunlight for a little bit and the bad part is the sun's gonna be sitting in our face so it's gonna be a hot evening so let's go you would never do this in Tennessee with Tennessee turkeys <laughs> This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Luminox are brighter, more durable, and with replaceable batteries, the longest lasting compound and crossbow lighted knocks on the market, period. When your moment of truth comes, rely on the only lighted knock trusted by the best. 
Luminoc. Light them up at Luminoc.com. There they are. There they are. Oh, God, something spooked them. Was that a barren ground? No, it was my stomach. I'm hungry. Well, this turkey hunting is way overrated. Let's go down to Kearney's and get us some of that roasted chicken they talk about. You know what Mike says, seven days without chicken makes one week. Let's go. Hey, let's go. I'm all for that. You want a good home-cooked meal? Come to Lynn Garden Restaurant in Kingsport. You won't be disappointed. And here's the proof. Yeah. Whether it's shooting for fun, shooting for victory, or the one chance at the trophy of a lifetime. Trust Spothawk, the world's toughest archery products. Here in Northeast Tennessee, the mountains have a story to tell. An exciting account of outdoor adventure, full of fishermen's tales from our finest rivers and lakes. A genuine page turner, brimming with places to retreat, play, relax, sure to leave you wanting more. Come and write your own chapter in this mountain tale. Check us out on the internet at 3boutdoors.com, plus YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Eastern Bowfire Harris and that Halon 6. Matthews. Don't take a very long shot, but let me tell you something. This ground is dry and hard, and it has buried that arrow up five inches in the dirt. I shot this one right in the heart. I've got it made blood flew everywhere. Well, you wait till you I see this. Shot one. Huh? You think you got him? Oh yeah, I heard him fall. And he's bleeding like a sieve. Come on, I'll wait on you. It didn't get no better. <sighs> Two bucks down in Tennessee wind. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let me just tell you this, son. Is that you skinny? Give Let me, me some skinny. right there. Hey buddy. How you doing? Howdy boy. How's that hey, right one with you, buddy? With the uh, extra beam, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I let me tell you. He blowed a hole in his shoe. <laughs> hey. He ain't. There we go. He fell right here somewhere. I'm telling you. We heard him. We heard him crash it. I got you. I got you. I see him. <laughs> <laughs> I see him. Good here, boy. Look here, boy. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Good, buddy. Yeah. Good, dude. Look here, boy. Oh, yeah. Look here, boy. Oh, boy. oh dude, that's a good one. Look here, boy. Look at that. Huh? God. Look how dude. big he is. 
Let me tell you something. He's bigger than I thought he was. Yeah, he is. This right here is what we come to Ohio for. Let me tell you something. We, I have worked and worked. I've come up here. Me and Robbie, we've cut food plots. I've been up here about the past, what, two months checking yeah. the cameras. Pretty much had them figured out. This one and about three more. And, but I mean, tell you, when I get my hands on him, he's a whole lot bigger than the pictures. He's pretty, he's a good he one. is a big body deer. Oh, that's a dang And I'm buddy. telling you. Yeah, buddy. I'm job. telling you. Pierce, man, thank you for coming with me and running the camera today. You don't know how much that means, man. You know, last year opening day, kind of had a mishap. I hit a good deer, hit a good, but he got away from me. This year, he didn't get away from Sealed me. Sealed the deal, I'm didn't telling you. you we heard, we heard him crash this time. Opening day, two down. Wow, I told you we had some awesome shows for you this year. How about Randy McDavid getting her done in Southwest Virginia on one of those spring gobblers. He filmed himself on this hunt. I don't know how he kept it together. Then, back to Virginia with Clayton McDavid, taking that very nice whitetail in his home state of Virginia. Doesn't get much better than that. Then last but not least, Good buddy Dustin Coates going to Ohio opening weekend and putting his tag on one of those big old Buckeye bruisers. Man, we are so glad that you've tuned in to 3B Outdoors Television. I'm Freddie Neely, and be back next week where Nathan will have you somewhere on the water. We wake up in the morning before the rising sun. Load up the boats, rides and reels. Stay tuned for our next episode. You ain't gonna wanna miss it.